I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry I left like that. It's okay. No, I, I mean, I, I, I shouldn't have done that. I, I should have... You don't, you don't have to say anything. Yes, I do. I do, Ryan. I have to tell you where I stand with you and with us. I already know. I do love you, Ryan. I do. I don't know how it happened or when or why, but all I know is right now, here in this space, I wanted to be with you. I wanted you. You ran right off. You've been so good to me and to Spike. I thought that I would die if I didn't make love to you. That's why I had to get out of here. I just had to get out. I had to clear my head and clear my mind and oh, my head's all over the place. I'm just, I'm a mess. But you are a beautiful mess. Beautiful. And I completely understand. No, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I mean, I ran out of here trying to figure out what was the right thing to do. I mean, I, I, I wasn't thinking about what I wanted or how good I wanted to feel in that moment. I was thinking about the consequences. I mean, me, Kendall, thinking about the consequences that sort of, sort of blew me away. So, so I stopped. And I'm furious at Zach. I'm furious. He lied to me and he committed a crime. And if this had been a year ago, I would have just jumped her bones and said, let's make crazy love Ryan to hell with Zach as if nothing else ever mattered. But it does matter. Ryan, everything matters now so much. I can't do that to you, or me, or Zach, or Spike. I mean, it's one thing to be messed up and dysfunctional, but it's another to drag our kid into it. And you and me, if uh, us getting together, if it's not the real thing, it's not the real deal, that's a chance that I am not willing to take with our son. Believe me, we're going to screw him up plenty without having mommy on the warpath. You and Spike are my family. And you always will be. You and I... We have this... this history. Amazing, crazy, electric history. And it has blown up in our faces more than once. Dixie was actually right. I want you both. I love you both. But that's so wrong. I, I, yes, uh, yes, we have this history, but... Aside from everything, there's there's a part of me that still hopes that I have a future with Zach. If I give myself to you, Ryan, it's just gotta be you and me. Just us, free and clear. No one else. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna be in that place. actually glad that you put on the brakes because I don't 
I don't want to move in if you're not ready. You know, move in on you. It's not. I don't want to take advantage, Kendall. I mean, you're hurt, and you got a million people, a million things pulling you in a million different directions, and I don't want to be one of those things. I don't want to pressure you. You know. Okay. Obviously, I want this to happen between us, but not. Not because you're angry and confused or for revenge. I want it to be because you love me. And only me. And if that never happens. I'll deal. It's, um, it's getting late, okay? So I'm gonna let you get some sleep. Can I, um, can I bring Spike home? I would really like for him to sleep next to me tonight. One not yet screwed up little baby boy, come on. 